Hi everyone, this is Esther and welcome to my channel where we talk tech, freelance and lifestyle. In today's video, you're going to be learning how to use Storybook.js in your React project, so stick around. Storybook is a UI development tool that allows developers to test out components in isolation because it runs outside an app. So think of Storybook like a playground for UI components. To understand this better, imagine you have a project with different components and you want to see how these components look like, you want to probably restyle them. To do this, you need to run your app locally in your browser and then begin to interact with these components one after the other. Doing this on a large project with numerous components can be very tedious and this is where Storybook comes in. Storybook allows you to interact with your components without actually running your app locally. Why I really love Storybook is because it's a JavaScript tool meaning that it works with any JavaScript framework out there. So now that you know the importance of Storybook, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is bootstrap your Create React App project using this command npx create react app storybook project once installation is complete cd into storybook project and install storybook using this command npx sb init then run yam storybook we are now into the storybook interface the left panel has a search bar to search for different components. You'd also notice a classification with a title named example, and then a button, header, and page components. Each of these components have their own stories, which we'll explore shortly. Storybook allows you to zoom in and out, switch between light and dark modes, and a lot more features you can explore. So let's go into code and see how the code is structured. I'll pull up my VS code and we'll notice a dot .storybook folder with some settings. For now, you don't need to make edits to this folder. The main thing to note is that for components to show up in Storybook, you need a stories.js or .jsx file extension. If you're using TypeScript, it will be a .ts or .tsx file extension. Also, all stories are in the stories folder in the source directory. Now, let's explore the button, header, and page those stories files. You'd notice a pattern. Each of these files have an export default with a title and component. For Storybook to work, every stories file must have an export default with a title and component property. The title as example slash page is what groups each of these components under the example group that we saw earlier. The component property is the name of the component as it shows up in Storybook. Let me pull this up for you to see. These are the stories for each component. A component can have multiple states or use cases. These multiple states of a single component are what we define as a story. For example, the same button component can have a primary, secondary, and large story. In code, a story is a function that returns a component state given a set of arguments. It's a named export at the bottom of the stories file. While there are different ways to create stories in Storybook, today we'll focus on using named story exports. Now that you have a good understanding of what Storybook is, stories and how to navigate it. Let's quickly build out two stories for a button component, a default story and a disabled story. To do this, first delete the default stories folder that came with the installation and create a new one. Next, build out the button component in the button.jsx file. Pass in the necessary props and add some inline styles. Now, create
create a button that stores the JSX file and import the button component. Don't forget to also add in the export default using the title and component properties. Finally, create two stories for the button component. The first story is a default button and the second story is a disabled button. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, this is looking really good. The last thing I want to show you here is how to add act types to control each story. Think of it like a way to modify the pops within your components. For our button, we would add a disabled act type and give the control a boolean since this is going to be either true or false. Likewise, the children pop is a text and so we set act types control to text. After defining the act types, you pass args into each story the same way you pass pops. Don't forget to spread args. Next, you specify the default value of the act types for each story. For the default button, set the disabled act type to false and children, which is the text on the button, to click me. So let's test this out. Similarly, for the disabled button, set disabled to true and children to don't click me. Now we can tweak each story. Congrats, you just learned how to create stories for your React project. Storybook offers you many more features like performing units tests on stories to confirm functionality accessibility checks and more. Best of all, you can publish your storybook online using Vessel, GitHub pages and other hosting platforms. That's it folks, now you know about storybook, you know what a story is and how to create a story in your React project. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel or hit the bell icon to get to know when I release a new video. Until next time guys, bye!